my idea of a good time is watching clips of Buddy Rich, uh, the late Tito Puente in his flamboyant yeah. uh, manner. Um, matter of fact, I brought my drumsticks and uh, I'd like to share <coughs> Yeah. It, maybe basically okay. the traditional grip. Yes. There's two, there's two ways to grip <coughs> the stick. This is called match grip where your hands right. are matched. This is called the conventional grip or the traditional. Right. It's rooted back in Switzerland, the Civil War drummers. So with this grip, using the three fingers in the left hand, you have less power but more control. And the rudiments, which are the building blocks to drumming, and let's say you have a basic paradiddle, right. which is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. Wow, that's really... And slow it down. And now, this here is like, when you're a drummer, you have all different <laughs> things beside the, like this, like... Well, you Do you want to try? Also, <laughs> I, I, I have two left hands, so I will <laughs> embarrass myself in here. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's in your blood. Reputation. All the people that are in my shows are very good performers. I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> so I want to keep it, the record straight. Everybody's good. <laughs> anyway, if I do it myself, I'll spoil, I'll spoil the, the good records that I have in here. No, I'm sure you have, have lots of rhythm. I have two <laughs> hands. But, um, in fact, I mean, I know where country I come from, which is Cuba. Everybody has a very good rhythm, but I'm a non-practicing Cuban, so... <laughs> Now, also you need to, there's also that metal thing beside the regular drums yeah, when you're doing that, that big instrument. has all kinds of different things. Well, the snare drum or the, the, the bateria or yeah. the trap set, has the drum right. set has meant those terms. You have your snare drum. Yes. You have your two tom-toms. You have your floor tom, which is the low, um, yes. on the floor. And you have your bass drum. So the bigger the drum, the lower the pitch. The smaller the drum, the higher the pitch. So the snare well, drum... Is your has your high pitch then you have on your left you have the the two symbols hitting each other which is right. called the hi-hat yes on the left side usually you have your crash symbol yeah and then to your right you have your ride symbol so you have wow. five or six different things going on and each limb of the body is doing something different which is and yeah. you try to establish what's called an independence yeah and you spend a lifetime of exercises and rudiments and practicing yeah. and drills and like you spoke about, the conventional grip is just one grip. Um, even the way I strike the stick is using the mower method. Yeah. In other words, I'm not doing two motions. I'm using one whipping motion and, in effect, say, using gravity and the laws of physics to get more energy and power. So there's a lot of technique b behind just holding the sticks. Right. And um, it really comes down to the basics and mastering the basics, like anything else. Wow. So. It's just... Just amazing. I'm really, really impressed by all the clips thing here. Let's see here. Uh, okay, you have here a, uh, a small speaking part with opposite to Zos Sidina <laughs> in the film Blood Ties. Yes. Tell me a little bit about it. Oh, my God. Um, we shot that in Sing Sing up in a real prison. Oh, wow. And it was an active prison. It was very hot. And um, I was cast as a guard, and the director chose me because the setting was 1970s. I have that wow, 1970s yeah. look. Yeah, isn't that the place closed down already many years ago? I, I'm not or sure. Are they, are they still open? Were the prisoners when you went there? There were prisoners. In oh, it. There were. I thought it was partial operative because there yeah. were prisoners there. There was a sense of um, uh, heightened security. Yeah. Um, it was active. I'm not sure if it's full active, but it was active yeah. when I was there. And um, I, I didn't let that distract me. And we shot outdoors. And I was a prison guard in the scene. It was always Saldana comes into the jail. Yeah. And we have some dialogue face to face. Wow. And uh, again, we were working. And nice to meet you. And we, and we wrapped. And of course, going home, I said, wow, I did a scene with Zoe Saldana. <laughs> and she was very nice, very pretty, yeah. very pretty girl, woman, excuse me. And um, that comes out in March. It's in France right now, and it comes out in March. Wow. So, Sing Sing, where, uh, is that located where, in, in California? I think what? that jail, Sing Sing, I think it's upstate New York. Upstate New York, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. So I don't know why, Sing California. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, oh, so, so you don't have to travel too far for that place. No. Because you're from New York. Yeah, they took us by bus, and oh, okay. uh, that was a nice scene. It's just one out of many films coming out uh, wow. this year. That's incredible. So. When you appear in all those movies, do you go on to the movie to, to watch yourself? 
in them. <laughs> Sometimes cousins, like my cousin Nicole, yeah. she would call or go on Facebook and say, Tommy, I right. saw you. And then I have to look at my notes. I'm saying, was I on that? Because <laughs> sometimes it's just a big blur. Yeah. Because you do so many of them. And this year is going to be an, a, an amazing year because I think um, it's pilot season now. And yeah. I'm up for a couple of parts. And with, with um, hard work and... Um, God behind me, I think yeah. those good things will continue to happen. So you have an agent that books you for all those Yes, I do. Things? Yes. That's very, very good. How do you see yourself uh, five years from now? That's a very, very good question. Yeah. Um, I think it's an evolution. I think you can't put a, a ceiling on, yeah. okay, next year if I don't have this. Yeah. I think it's progress. I think it's baby steps. Um, like my coaches in, in SAG after say, Rome was not built in a built in a day. You can't have a baby. It, um, it takes nine months to have a baby. So, if you skip a step, what happens? You fall. So it's step by step, and I see my progress in the gigs I'm booking. I see the progress in my craft in the training at SAG after, as an actor, finding those moments of truth, um, being in the moment. Um, whether it's improv, teleprompter class, scene study, monologue. And I really think it, you want to build an arsenal. You want to have those chops. Right. And um, five years from now, I see myself progressing. Where the road will lead to, who knows? Right. Well, <laughs> I actually see you uh, very successful because, I mean, you know, even up to now, you still are at a young age. You have been, I've, oh. your accomplishments have been uh, really <laughs> remarkable. And you have been uh, so fortunate to be able to have your path cross so many famous people in in, in the uh, in the mu film industry, music. In, in the music, in the TVs, and and it's nice to be able to do the kind of work that you do that you bring entertainment and pleasure to people and making people in this this kind of like. Uh, disturbing violent world in which we live yes. that you bring some peace and and joy to the minds of people away from the the whole array of things that's going on around them there's a know? lot of negativity out in the world unfortunately and i think um the law of attraction if you put out goodness yes it'll come back to you and like i told the fans in the laura browning and at the spirit of love Wherever I go in my life, I could have successes in TV and film, but my times with Laura Brannigan, with the band, and my personal life with her those months, nothing, that, that will, will be in a pedestal forever. And um, that's where the inspiration comes from, to be positive, to put out goodness, um, to not let those folks down. Um, Laura, my mom, as we know, was a beauty queen. Actually, I actually have a photo Yes. Um, as we spoke about the last episode, she was Miss Creek Independence, and I bought... Okay, let me see if I can actually to show share a photo to my audience in there. That's uh, Tommy Bayaka's mother. Eleftheria. Yeah. Eleftheria, which in Greek means freedom. Yes. And she was first runner-up Miss Creek Independence. Wow. She left us New Year's Day 1976, but, um, you know, that was the bond me and Laura had. It's all tied in. Yes. I For mean, those who loved and very, lost. Very, very, very beautiful lady. I mean, this Thank you, really Jacob. Nice. You got another picture you want to show me? Or um, see that you have. Oh, here's a, a picture of the fans and Kathy and Vince Kolk from... Let me get a, a better photo for you. Okay. This is uh, some of the fans. Jim Rabowin. That's uh, from uh, Laura Brannigan. Yeah. Kathy and Vince Kolk okay, of Laura Brannigan. August 2009. Let's see. If you can go closer. You. Yeah, it is. So tell me who those people are again. The gentleman in the center, center is Vince Golick, his wife Kathy Golick, and they have they host the Laura Brannigan Spirit of Love, wow. and the website, the official website LauraBrannigan.com, the official Facebook page, and they're my friends and Laura's friends too. Very very nice. And, um, it's really. And also this is yeah. worthy. This is a testament to the fans. Laura, to this date, still has the greatest fan base in the world. Yeah. So every year we get together, we share um, times, we speak, we exchange some gifts. So there's a, a distinguished fan, Jim Rabowin. So I walk into the spirit of love this year, and he makes me this. What is that? <laughs> uh, that's it, it's uh, a plaque. Oh, and look at that. Okay, I'll show it to you. And that Athanasios is my Greek name. Right. Fomas in the middle is short, and Tommy. 
and Athanasius or Athanasios in Greek means immortal. Yeah, yeah. So I've been immortalized. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> but I'm grateful. Very, that's a beautiful plaque, my God. I'm grateful. This is just very, very, very impressive. Uh, this very is just a small yeah. token of the spirit of love that's out there in, that's, in addition to the ambience of yeah, East Quag. That is fantastic. You know, so, really, it's always a pleasure having you in my show. You, you are thank you for so having much me. insight, so much knowledge, so much... Uh, I mean, you bring so many people that in the stories that you bring that I remember from my times, like uh, Avalon. Frankie Avalon, Frankie of course. Avalon, I remember him from my times, which we, like <laughs> I can, like almost, almost like Elvis Presley, you know, used to sing and a uh, young man. That's then, Frankie Avalon. Yeah, that, you know, these people that come from my era, kind of like my contemporaries. He's. Yes, I mean, this it. was really, really fantastic. So. Again, I want to thank you, Tommy Bayakos. Thank you so much and for I'm having me. I'm looking forward to see you again very soon. So again, the, the name of the program is Discovering Yourself. My name is Jacob Bimblich, and if you want to reach me, my phone number is 718-338-8191. Again, thank you for watching my program. It's always a pleasure to see you as part of my audience. Thank you very much. JKL, just keep yes. living.